Alzheimer's disease affects um, 110,000 individuals mm -hmm. here in Quebec, mm -hmm. about uh, 564,000 in Canada, mm -hmm. and about 46 million in the world, in mm -hmm. the entire world, which is over the is higher than the whole population mm -hmm. of Canada. And uh, the cost to Canadians uh, today is about 10 billion dollars annually uh, to take care of people who have Alzheimer's disease. So it's a very high cost and it's going to increase with the increased uh, population that will be uh, affected by the Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. The treatments that are available today to treat uh, Alzheimer's disease are not as efficient as we would like, even though they have a certain effect Mm -hmm. a beneficial effect on some people for a short period of time, like six months to two years. Mm -hmm. uh, probably they are not efficient because we don't have the right therapeutic target and they um, are not given early enough to treat the disease. And so by the time people have symptoms uh, and we give them these medications, the disease is too advanced to uh, be reversed by the treatments. So the main challenge is to identify the appropriate cause, especially the most initial cause of the disease, so that we can then develop treatments against this cause and stop the disease before it has a chance to um, cause too much damage in the brain. If I had a magic wand, I would uh, increase the value that is placed on fundamental research, uh, both for the scientists that work in research, as well as uh, the monies that are put towards finding the cause of Alzheimer's disease.